audience, I want to give you all an opportunity to share your stories if you can in a truncated version. Give us the cliff notes of your personal experience and what you want to share with our audience today. Mandy, let's start with you. Sure. Thank you so much, Julie. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Um, it's so great to, to finally be here. As Jeff mentioned in the introduction, we have been talking about this for quite some time. Uh, and but unfortunately, I just I kept going under the knife on him and I you know, could not could not make it, which is part of my story that we're going to talk about here today. Uh, but I'm an author and a founder and a recently creator of The Daily Uplift. If anybody follows me on social, they know what that is. Um, but I'm also an active member of NYVC Sports. And I do know that uh, just from some people who were joining today, there's a lot of women who were joining this session today, which I'm thrilled about. Uh, I'm the, the first female board member. And I will say um, the guys in, who founded this and, and just the group and the board in general are amazing. And I know there's a lot of people in sports and entrepreneurship in the tech space uh, out there. And sometimes it could be a little rough on women and these guys are the best. So um, I'm, I've been quite a silent member for the past couple of years um, because of one of the reasons why I'm here today. Um, I'm currently recovering from two unexpected spinal surgeries in one year. And as a runner, um, and there's a lot of athletes who are both on the panel and in the crowd, you know that immobility can be daunting. And I also think for everybody in the audience, the immobility that we're going through right now can be daunting. Um, I didn't have an accident or an injury. Uh, it was just one day I was going through one of my normal runs along the Hudson and my hand stopped working. And then my right arm and eventually my entire right side became paralyzed. And I started troubleshooting what I thought was a hand injury perhaps a shoulder injury and ended up being my spine. So uh, it prompted the need for emergency spinal surgery within five days. And um, I was diagnosed with a random genetic abnormality that just came out of nowhere and uh, degenerated my spine to that of a 90 year old. So I uh, spent a lot of time in bed rest, um, went through the surgery and the recovery, which forces you to be upright at a 90 degree angle and a hard brace uh, in bed for 10 weeks. And so I did that and, you know, kind of went through the recovery and had some observational moments that we'll talk about here, which is really when you spend a lot of time up, you realize a good percentage of the world that spends it down. And some of the reasons why, uh, which gets into a lot of mental health reasons and really something that, that I talk about, which is our inherent desire to become invisible. And so I talked a lot about that in my TED talk called Looking Up uh, in an Epidemic of Looking Down and, you know, went on my way and, and really got this message out to the world and tried to create a global conversation that wasn't happening. Um, and then even started to clock double digits, you know, on the track again. And then what should have been uh, my, my final visit uh, in the year anniversary of my surgery, my final visit to my surgeon, I found out that it didn't work. And for no reason whatsoever, I fell into this tiny window of a 1% margin of error and found out that the surgery failed. So I had to repeat the journey all over again. So the isolation, the immobility, um, the, the time in bed rest. So over the past, uh, within that year, I spent 21 weeks of bed rest. And you know I'm now kind of coming to and getting strong again. Um, but I do feel like what's interesting and, and what we'll talk about is, um, you know, I, I kind of woke up and saw that the world was now suffering from something I once did, which is immobility, isolation, a looming new normal, and a bit of the unknown. Um, so really, when I started to put my story out there and started to connect with people because I was so wildly disconnected for so long, um, it really started to resonate. And that's what sort of um, kind of snowballed into my book that's to come and the daily uplift and what my voice is all about right now. 